It is time. The NVIDIA RTX Remix Open Beta is officially out right now, and a whole new category of mods has just been born. Now, anyone who wants to dabble in this has the ability to create path-traced remasters of their favorite games. As long as they either run on DirectX 8 or 9, though. Not only that, but earlier this month, Half-Life 2 RTX and RTX Remix Project has received a brand new update as well, showing off parts of Ravenholm with the all-new lighting and assets that they have created for it. And spoiler alert, it looks pretty incredible. Oh, and ModDB is in on the RTX Remix party. They have introduced features that will make ModDB the place to find RTX Remix mods, which is pretty great. I like that NVIDIA partnered up with them and not just made their own platform. Anyway, there is lots to talk about in this NVIDIA RTX Remix roundup video, so let's get into it. Lambda Generation. Let's start off with the Half-Life 2 RTX update that happened earlier this month. I know I'm a little late on this one, but honestly, so much has happened this month that I was kind of swamped. But hey, better late than never, right? Orbifold Studios has released a new trailer showing off what they have done to Ravenholm, and it looks very interesting. The lighting in the place has entirely been revamped with the new lighting that RTX Remix offers, while also swapping out the old source materials for newer PBR-enabled materials so that the lighting will actually play nicely with the environment. And in a place like Ravenholm, lighting is everything. I think the overall atmosphere has been captured really well. The team really managed to not change the art style too much while still enhancing these textures and models to modern standards. Yeah, you can see that they did take some creative liberties here and there, but nothing that would break the whole art style or anything, at least in my opinion. Talking about these screenshots with the table and the paint cans and health packs and stuff, just look at how amazing it all looks. The lighting and the reflections on the paint cans, the cushion on the stool which looks a bit too clean for where it currently is, it all looks super realistic. The only thing I have a wee bit of a problem with is the dirt in this shot. Is it just me or does the dirt look a little bit too shiny? It looks like it's either moist or it's rendered incorrectly. Now, maybe this is how it's supposed to look and I'm just not used to seeing that in video games, but I cannot help but think that it looks a little bit off. Anyway, you can find all these screenshots and the trailer over in the NVIDIA article that I linked down below. There you can compare screenshots with how these areas look in the original game as well, and you can find a plethora more interesting tidbits and information about models and their fidelity as well. You know what else can be found in the article I'm linking down below though? News about how the technology behind Half-Life 2 RTX has been released in open beta to be used by anyone with a good computer and a desire to see light bounce all over the place in real time. That's right, NVIDIA RTX Remix is now in open beta and it can be downloaded and used for free through the Omniverse launcher to enhance the games you love. That is if they run using the DirectX 8 or 9 API, anything newer than that won't work unfortunately. The RTX Remix application currently includes the RTX Remix ingestion pipeline that will also allow you to ingest various model file types that RTX Remix will convert to OpenUSD so that they'll be easier to edit. It also includes the Easy Asset Replace feature so you can replace assets in a game on the fly. And NVIDIA also includes an asset bank full of open USD files that you can use in your mods for free. Then there is also support for a large variety of PBR materials that can use parallax occlusion mapping to really make your materials stand out. <laughs> Get it? It includes the ability to entirely relight any scene with the built-in path traced lighting system and you have a nice little viewport that you can use in the app itself to make changes to the game you're modding on the fly and see the changes you're making in real time. How cool is that? And hey, the NVIDIA RTX runtime has also had a few updates since we've last seen it in Portal Prelude RDX. Off-camera lights are no longer culled out, for example, allowing off-screen shadows and lights to affect the scene. Support for terrain-baked textures is also here now, improving the visuals of games that use that feature. And subsurface scattering is now supported on foliage as well. And here's that parallax occlusion mapping feature that I talked about earlier and that was shown to be in the works in the interview I did late last year with the Half-Life 2 RTX team, which is definitely a video you should watch if you haven't yet. Apart from all that, NVIDIA also shows how generative AI can be used to enhance old textures since not every mod team has a bunch of artists around that can remake these textures properly. 
Now, full disclosure, I'm not a super fan of AI or anything like that. If I had a choice between a real human artist and an AI to remake a texture I need to have remade, I would always choose the human. But the results of the AI here aren't super bad or anything either, especially on these old Half-Life 2 bricks. It looks alright, albeit a bit messy maybe, but that can also be a lighting thing, maybe it looks better with different lighting. These bathroom floor tiles though look a bit off I gotta say. These tiles do not look like the shiny tiles they're supposed to be. It looks more like concrete scales or paper or something. Again, could be a lighting thing and maybe it looks better in game, I really don't know. It's worth mentioning as well that these are labeled as test textures. It's not known if these textures will actually be used in Half-Life 2 RTX. Now we made a bunch more videos about NVIDIA RTX Remix and I have compiled all those videos in a nice little playlist that you can check out by clicking the card on screen right now. In those videos, I go a little more in-depth about what RTX Remix and its runtime really entails. And of course, you can read the article itself that's linked below as well to learn more about it too if you prefer reading. In that article, there is also an entire section dedicated to getting you started with this powerful tool, and there is also a Q&A section where some of the pressing questions you have may be answered. And then there is the last topic I want to talk about in this video, and that is ModDB's involvement in all this. Because all these new RTX Remix mods will need a home, right? And ModDB has partnered up with Nvidia to make sure that it's ready to take on that role. One of the new things that ModDB introduced is a compatibility list of all the games you might want to wedge RTX Remix into. This list includes games that are playable with it, partially playable, and it also lists games that have issues or are not compatible with it at all. So before you decide on a game to mod using RTX Remix, make sure you check this list first. From here, you can also download the config file and USD capture so you can get started on modding your games much faster. There is also a new RTX tag on ModDB that you can use to specifically search for RTX mods and news if you're in the mood for that. And what's even cooler is that RTX mods will have an increased file size limit on ModDB of 50 gigabytes. Because, you know, these materials and models can get pretty massive in size, so ModDB would need to compensate for that. So yeah, it'll be super easy to look for RTX mods of your favorite game. W -w 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 wait GTA San Andreas is compatible? Well, I guess we won't need those stinky definitive editions anymore, eh? And that's about it for the RTX Remix news roundup for this month. This um, isn't going to be a monthly thing, I promise. I strive to cover news when it comes out, but just so much happened this month all at once, so this was kind of necessary. Anyway, what do you think of the RTX Remix open beta, the Half-Life 2 RTX update, and ModDB's involvement in all this? Let me know in the comments, they keep me company while I'm bored. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to like the video if you want to see more RTX Remix coverage. We'll definitely be on the lookout for more Valve-related RTX mods in the future. I can't wait to see what the community is going to do with all this. Have fun!